satisfied with what you are. A simple family guy with a dream job? Oh, come on, Harry. I don't buy it. I know you are scared. Don't be. You don't feel ready for what you must finish. But you are, Harry. You are. Alex, Eugene, both of them are short-sighted, selfish pricks. They were telling you what to do, with only one purpose. To save themselves. Each of them had a chance to intervene. Each of them could stop the project. But they preferred to play their part in my plan. Until they realize that the plan doesn't necessarily include their survival. You, on the contrary, were to be by my side from the very start. And now I need you even more. Your physical body, to be precise. Only the two of us have biometric access to reactivate the 747. And given my current form, I'm afraid you're the only one left. Take my hand, and all of this will be over.
not according to the quantum background, but luckily for us, the devices work. A few more absorptions should do the trick. Upgrade. Not a new I won't repeat my mistake, Gary. I won't put my trust in you again. There will be no more negotiation. You are mine. Unconditional. Without choice. Because who are you for me to take you into consideration? For us, the devices work. A few more absorptions should do the trick. A friend. Not a new A prominent scientist. My family. If you have your chance to prove yourself outstanding, Lie down and die, Harry. Just give up. The 747 will launch. If not on Earth 42, then in another dimension. I won't miss my opportunity window. Ace and warned someone would try to stand in my way. But I didn't expect it to be you. What are you trying to accomplish, Harry? I'm above the multi How can you, pathetic three-dimensional being, Fight against me. Atlas won't stop me. It might slow me down, but not him. So it better be me to benefit from his idea.
After Harry stepped into the gateway, I ran away from the portal's operation chamber, and I hid in the car park. And that's where he found me. Although I was happy to see my old friend, we needed to escape immediately. We heard the screams and some really very scary sounds from inside the complex, and then came a tremor, like an earthquake rolling towards us. We didn't face any resistance at the checkpoints, it's wrong to say it, but we were lucky. Everyone else had something else to worry about. A giant quantum anomaly it absorbed the entire Delta facility. We could see it growing, so Harry just put his foot down and we kept on driving. As for the people from Delta, I guess me and Harry were the only survivors, at least We've never heard from anyone, not from Alex or Mr. Mason Powell. I don't understand what happened there, but Harry thinks it's better that way. He thinks the anomaly is stabilized, or at least for now. <laughs>